Hey everybody, this is Carl from the Elan Tech Support Team. Thank you for watching my video today. So today's video is going to show you an easy way to add an HDMI switch and program it in the G so that you can ensure that the generic serial commands or the IR commands are sent every time a source is selected. So, so this video assumes that you already have an HDMI switch built into your input output tab as either a generic serial device or an IR device. It also assumes that you have a TV that's being controlled by G that is added in as an IR device or one of our two-way drivers on a media tab. In this example, I'm using an HDMI switch uh, that's going to be controlled serially and a TV that is going to be controlled via IR. Okay, so I got both of those already added in. I'm going to go over to the media tab. Now in this example, we're also using an M86 as our audio zone controller and this HDMI switch to switch the video that's going to be going to the various TVs throughout the house. Okay, so I already added a TV, which is right here under video displays. If you don't know how to do that, please check out the G training guide on how to add video displays. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this video display and I'm going to need to add some video inputs to it. So in order to do that, you got to make sure the source control type is selected as discrete verify always send. By doing that, it allows us to add some inputs here. So we're going to click add input. And the first input I'm going to add is going to be HDMI 1 because that's the port that we're connected to physically on the television. And I'm also going to put a forward slash and I'm going to say HDMI output 1 input 1. Okay, so that's the HDMI switch. We're on output one, and we're going to be on source one of the HDMI switch. And go ahead and click OK. Let's add another input. We're going to call this HDMI one for the TV as well. Except this time it's going to be HDMI out one input two. This is going to be the second source on our HDMI switch. Hey, okay, once you get your inputs in there, and obviously this depends on how many different sources you're using on the HDMI switch. In today's example, we're just going to use an HDMI DVD player and an HDMI satellite box. Go ahead and click on your first input, and we're going to add some commands. So the commands that you're going to add are pretty simple. You're going to add the TV command. So we're going to go to System Family as IR Sender because this is an IR controlled TV. Anything IR controlled, you're going to go to IR Sender. Then we're going to scroll down to our TV command. Find that here. There we go. So it's going to be TV HDMI 1, and we're going to select Send IR via default device. Click OK. The next command that we're going to add to that is our command for the HDMI switch. We're going to go to Generic Serial Device, and we're going to choose a particular command. In this case, it was Output 1, Input 1. So we're going to choose HDMI switch, Output 1, Input 1, and send that via its default device, and click OK. Now we have a command for that input that's going to switch the TV to HDMI 1 and also switch the HDMI switch to output 1, input 1. And go ahead and close that. And let's add the commands for our input to the HDMI switch. So add command. We're going to add the TV command first, IR sender. Scroll down to the TV HDMI 1 command. There it is via default device. Add another command. It's going to be our generic serial device. And this is going to be output 1, input 2, send via default device. OK. So now we have commands on both inputs. Go ahead and apply that. And go to the particular zone of your M86 or whatever audio zone controller you're using that this TV resides in. In this case, we're just going to say it's in Eric's office. Next thing you're going to do is go up here to display, and you're going to choose whatever TV it is. In this case, it was Eric's office TV. And what that does, let me switch that back to none. You'll see that there's no information here. So once you select that TV, it makes these two columns active. Next thing you want to do is make sure that the display turns on for whatever video source it is that's connected. You do that by right-clicking under the display on and off column and select turn on. You're going to do that for both sources. The next thing you got to do is choose which input that those sources are connected to on a TV. In this case, they're connected to the HDMI switch. So when you right-click here, you get your two options that we created on the video display. So the DVD player is connected to input one, so we're going to choose that. 
DirecTV box is connected to input 2. Click apply, and there you go. That's all you got to do. So now when you go to the M86 zone, so in this case Eric's office zone, and you choose the DVD source, it is going to turn your TV on, switch the TV to HDMI 1, and it's also going to switch your HDMI source to input 1 for that particular output, which is output 1. That's it. Thank you for watching GTV. Uh, make sure you check out the dealer forum. You just got to go to the Elon Diller website, and at the very top, you'll see a link for the forum. Get in there, register for it if you haven't done so already, and you'll be able to find all these videos on there, as well as a ton of information that's going to help you guys out. Thank you. Thanks for watching DV GTV. Take care.